So the second possession for the Rough Riders. And Durant has time, looks downfield. He's got Ephraim Hill. It's a completion at the 46-yard line. 26 to Ephraim Hill to get the Rough Riders kick-started. You got to believe there's pressure on Ephraim Hill and Terrence Nunn in this receiving core. They've got three receivers in the practice roster brought in the last week and a half, and the pressure is on for these guys to perform. Nice rope for Ephraim Hill to get some separation on a guy who's been all over his man for six straight weeks, and that's Jeff Tisdale. Darren Durant had 215 yards passing 13 days ago against Calgary. The Stamps defense has not allowed a 300-yard game yet. Back into the hands of Hill, but quickly brought down. Greg Fassett on the corner for the Stampeders. Take a look at the Calgary defensive front four with Charleston Hughes, their leader. He's got three sacks and a knockdown after six weeks. Robert McCune will start once more for Jawan Simpson at middle linebacker. And then in the secondary, we talked a lot about Jeff Tisdale at one corner. One guy is going to be under pressure tonight is Brandon Smith, who will take on Weston Dressler most of the night man-to-man. -man. Doesn't have quite the momentum of Swaggerville, but they're calling it Shutter Island. That tough Calgary defense, flags fly, and Durant with the throw to the sidelines. Terrence Nunn the catch, a couple of rough riders in the same vicinity. And let's find out what the penalty is. Looked like Charleston Hughes jumped. Charleston Hughes was definitely in the neutral zone. It's a matter of whether or not he was drawn by some early movement. It looks like Durant is making the decision here. Catch, by the way, was short of the first down by a couple of yards, so you would think the Rough Riders would take the penalty. Offside, Calgary, number 39. Five-yard penalty remains second down. Yeah, they'll take the five yards, the penalty, and get second down over. And second and four. You talked about their second down conversion issues when they were playing Calgary two weeks ago, 13 days ago. Dismal in that category and they have to improve that the way you do that is success on first down so second and four or more they were one for 13 against the Stampeders it's second and five here the handoff inside and you Charles will run for the first down there's a lot of people in Saskatchewan waiting to see if you Charles can get going and that's going to be dependent upon whether or not Doug Berry gets him involved this is a team in Saskatchewan that has very few rushing attempts passed way right at the bottom of the of the pack when it comes to rushing attempts. If they can get some success on first down with the run, they can improve that statistic on second down conversions. Get under four on second down. Difference maker in the game losing 22-18 because of that trouble. Little hitch and it was bobbled by Durant and then dropped by Robinson. Yeah, you know, and I think when, when Darian Durant got and bobbled that one, he finally grabbed the handle. He threw a fastball out there to, to James Robinson, and he was only about 10 yards away from him, if that. And again, Robinson with that fundamental mistake to take a peek to where he's going to run before he has secured the ball. Second game for Robinson, who had one catch for six yards last week in B.C., second and ten. Junior Turner in pursuit, downfield, looking for Dressler, and he caught it with flags flying. But holding yeah. back at the line of scrimmage, and then penalties on the coverage against Dressler. Be interesting to see how this all sorted out. It looks like there's penalties for pass interference on Dressler, who makes an unbelievable catch. It looked like pretty much double coverage down the field. But there was a holding back at the line of scrimmage. Holding Saskatchewan number 64. Four pass interference, Calgary. Offsetting fouls will replay the down, second down. So good speed with the hold. And they'll do it over again, and that negates yet another spectacular Weston Dressler catch. Dan Goodspeed's playing that right tackle. I mentioned it's his 100th game. He's working on the outside, and watch how he gets his hands wrapped around the outside of the shoulder pads. He does. Davis coming off the edge. 
Second and ten again. Durant has gets lap and almost intercepted. In and out of the hands of Brandon Isaac in coverage against Chris Getzlaff. Chris Getzlaff went immediately over to talk to James Robinson about two receivers being in the same area. Pressure coming from the edge from the Calgary Stampeders. Darian Durant goes back to Getzlaff, who has a chance at it here. And James Robinson just sort of tried to scramble out of the way. I think he brought coverage with him. So it'll be Milo to kick let him go, let him go. off the side of his foot, down inside the 15, and Larry Taylor will be dropped at the 20-yard line, a 40-yard punt, eight on the return. Dan Hucklock the tackle. Mosaic, Henry Burris, and the Stampeders go back to work after a touchdown on their opening possession. Pitches to Reynolds, a cutback, and not much there. Baron Simpson, the Minister of Defense, on the tackle. Now these teams, these two quarterbacks, 3-3-1. Three, three, and one. This is the rubber match for them. Henry Burris, look at his pace this year, 5,226 yards, which would be a personal high for him, a career high. And that, after a lot of criticism early in the, in the year, now his touchdown totals are down a little bit. His big play receivers haven't made the big plays just yet, but they're still four and two, and he's on some kind of pace. Jabari Arthur checks back in. Second and long, and that pass is complete up at the 30, and Arthur's got another catch and a first down. Missed some games early this year with a hamstring problem, and Dave Dickinson told us early he missed not having 81 in the lineup. Yeah, because of his versatility and, and, his, and his ability to move in a lot of different places. Jabari Arthur can play out there in the slot back. They can move him wider if they want. They can bring him in and play with a tight end formation because he's a big body at 225 and solid hands. First down up at the 31. And the handoff to Reynolds. And Joffrey Reynolds, good burst into the secondary. And up to the 46-yard line for a 15-yard run. Reynolds with a big run from 26 yards and late in the fourth quarter a couple of weeks ago to help clinch things. Well, there's yards after catch for receivers. There's yards after contact for running backs. And Keith Shuligan is the first guy to make contact in the hole. Jarrell Freeman dies for him. James Patrick is... Just more shrapnel behind what was a real solid run right up the middle. Finding another run in the history books for that run. First and ten. John Cornish is into the game and Robbie Bryant the catch. And there's some yards after the catch and another first down as he's run out at the Stampeder bench. But Joffrey Reynolds says just moved ahead of legendary Normie Kwong on the all-time list we will put a little asterisk there just because the numbers began in 1950 and they do not count the unofficial numbers for Normie Kwong in his first two seasons so Joffrey Reynolds may end up passing Normie Kwong twice <laughs> another first down and back into the hands of Robbie Bryant working on corner Nick Graham uh, he's just been such a solid back for so long for the Calgary Stampeders. I know he's being used a lot less now with the rotation of John Cornish in there, a little bit of Larry Taylor in the backfield as well this season. But watch what he does. He, he steps up and helps out on a blitzing Baron Simpson to allow his quarterback to get the ball out of the pocket. He does it all. Runs the ball strong, blocks strong, and can catch it out of the backfield. Six on that last catch by Bryant. So second and four. Much to the wide side, a bouncing snap, and Burris over the middle, he's got it. And Randy Bryant racing away. Bryant with great speed down to the 10, and Tristan Jackson will stop him there. But another huge conversion and a 37-yard play. And it starts with composure from Henry Burris, who had a low snap from Tim O'Neill. He had to go down and gather it up, and usually a quarterback will, once he takes his eyes off coverage like that, 
He'll come up, panic a little bit, and try and force it, but look how patient he, patient he is. Waits for Robbie Bryant to come across a very similar route to the one he got hit by Tristan Jackson coming across the field, clears through the mesh, and gets to the other side, and great speed after that. Inside the 10, Burris on a roll, throws back this way, Nick Lewis, touchdown! And the Calgary Stampeders cap another impressive scoring drive. Uh, their quarterback is under control right now. I mean, Burris catches that low snap on the Romby Bryant throw. And then this time, he decides he's going to break all the fundamental rules for quarterbacks. What are the fundamental rules for quarterbacks? When you're rolling to the right, don't throw across your body to the left. Don't leave your feet and jump and throw at the same time. But when you have the arm strength and compose your burst, you can get away with it. Paredes adds the extra point. It's a two touchdown lead for the Stamps. Make uncut. It'll be all right. Go ahead and roll tape. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he, he's now producing our television show. Go ahead and roll tape. Well, we're going to have the kickoff, Nick, and then uh, we'll go ahead and roll your touchdown back. Hey, let's keep it going. <laughs> Paredes boots it, and West has trouble with it. And Brandon oh, West boy. is drilled inside the 20. Nothing has gone right for the Rough Riders in this first quarter. It is going Wait. right for Calgary. They're taking advantage of Rough Rider mistakes. Nick Lewis, the veteran, he's going to go against Chris McKenzie. And I'm just going to get you to pause it in a second. But watch how Nick Lewis comes in here, fakes like he's going to block and then cuts across the field. Now he's got McKenzie outside shoulder right here, and he's in a chase position. McKenzie jumped there because he saw Henry Burris roll that direction. So Burris draws the secondary with his roll, throws back against his body to Nick Lewis. What a drive, seven plays, 90 yards, and Burris was perfect, five for five in the drive. Hugh Charles on the ground, and he'll crash up around the 22, pickup of about four for Charles. Rough Riders have not scored a first quarter point in three of their last four games. And they're under two minutes to go here in the opening quarter. Down by 14. Well, and that Calgary defense has not given up a first possession point. That's long gone for Saskatchewan. They've been solid in the first quarter. Darian Durant can't make 14 points up in one series either. Second and six. Grant steps up, and he's got Ephraim Hill. Ephraim Hill with his second big catch up across the 50-yard line. Well, it is it is amazing when Darian Durant starts to move, how things open up for him. And, and he's going to do this all by himself to basically buy time as the pocket looked like it was going to collapse around him right here off the edge. Watch him step to his right, take a second, Get that extra step for Ephraim Hill, his receiver coming across the middle, and make the big play. When he moves around, he is much more effective. Hill comes to the sidelines after the 27-yard catch out of a double tight end formation. Durant looking for Weston Dressler. Got it. Dressler inside the 20. And finally out at the 10. Back-to-back -back big plays for the Rough Riders offense. Protection up front is there for Saskatchewan. And Weston Dresser, who's going to be going one-on-one -on -one with Brandon Smith a ton. Boy, does he make a nice speed cut to get to that corner. Sometimes you set a guy up with a couple of moves or shake your shoulder pads. And sometimes you just want to get there as quickly as you possibly can. That's what Dressler did on that play. Speed cut to the corner, and the ball was right there. Fourth catch of 30 yards or more for Dressler on the year. Came into the game sixth in the league in receiving. First and ten at the 11. Grant looks back this way. Hugh Charles. Charles. Touchdown. And the Rough Riders have back flipped right back into it. Remember that touchdown? Henry Burris to Nick Lewis as he rolled one way and went back against the rain. I'll check out. Darian Durant rolls to his left, flips his hips and his shoulders back to the screen to Hugh Charles, and he does the rest. With a little extra. 
So the Rough Riders do put first quarter points on the board here. And Milo adds the extra point. The Calgary lead has been cut in half. So a good response for a team that didn't have much going, especially when they started deep in their own zone after a bobbled kick return. And after six weeks, that may have been the first half smile by Doug Berry as he gets the answer they need. And you can't talk enough about the importance of that drive after falling behind 14 nothing and just nothing going right for Saskatchewan at home who have not won here at home. Boy, they had to get something going offensively, and they do. Hugh Charles finishes. And that's his first backflip of the regular season. First touchdown for Hugh Charles in his third start in place of the injured West Gates. Well, that drive started with Darian Durant finding some time, using his legs to get himself and his receiver open in Ephraim Hill, who's, I think, playing his best game already after one quarter in Ephraim Hill. And then hitting his leader and Dressler, setting up the Hugh Charles touchdown. So it only took four plays. And the Rough Riders down by seven as they boot it downfield. And it will be Cornish taking it from Larry Taylor. And Cornish get up at the 35-yard line. Kai Stewart got there first. One second remaining on the clock in this opening quarter. Henry Burris loves this matchup. I mentioned he's 10-7 and one all-time against Saskatchewan, but against Darian Durant, 3-3 three, three and one. This is the rubber match in that head-to-head. -head. But he knows he's going to hear it from the fans on that side of the stadium. Good first quarter for him. John Cornish in the backfield and a quick hitter as Kenyon Ramble with the catch and he's wrestled out along the sidelines. Rambo back in after missing two with a sore Achilles. End of one quarter at Mosaic. Toyota dealerships across Canada have big selection with big savings to match. You'll find big savings and great finance and lease rates on our most popular models. These factory authorized savings won't last long, so hurry into your local Toyota dealer today. Right now, get up to $3,000 cash incentive on the new stylish and sporty Toyota Corolla. Toyota dealerships across Canada have big selection with big savings to match. These factory authorized savings won't last long, so hurry into your local Toyota dealer today. Congratulations to our 10 winning towns. Canada cast over 4 million votes, and the Craft Celebration Tour is now set. Each of the winning towns will receive a $25,000 award from Craft. And from August 19th through the 28th, Sports Center will broadcast live from each of the winning towns. To learn more, log on to CraftCelebrationTour.ca. The Craft Celebration Tour. 10 great towns in 10 summer days. Brought to you by Trident Splash Gum, bursting with juicy flavor. Doctor, we're losing her. I don't know what's wrong. I can't find the inferior vena cava. Oh, come on. It's right there. It's crystal clear in HD. Rewind it, sweetie. I missed it. Doctor, we're Look. losing her. I don't know what's wrong. I can't there. find the inferior vena cava. It's a good call. There it is. I found the inferior vena cava. That's why I love you, nurse, Calvin. But you're married to my mother. If she makes it through the surgery, I'll tell her everything. Yes! Are you for real? <laughs> Well, the teams only combined for 40 points the last time they met. 21 on the board. There are the numbers in the first 15 minutes. The impression you got if you watched that first quarter was all Calgary. They had a 14-0 lead, but for one drive for Saskatchewan. That last drive by Durant, almost 100 yards in that drive, and two of the four first downs for Saskatchewan. So you look at that time of possession, Chris, it was like almost even, and yet it seemed like a very dominant Calgary quarter. Calgary pretty efficient and we're used to shootouts between these two teams that that meeting a couple weeks ago a little uncharacteristic really it, it really was when you think back to last September when Darian Durant threw for 500 yards these teams have got into some real shootouts in fact the best game for Durant in his career was against Calgary Henry Burris I mentioned his record has 10 wins 
against his old team, Saskatchewan, where he played 46 games as a rider before becoming a Calgary Stampeder. Burris with a couple of touchdown passes in that opening quarter. One to Jabari Arthur, the other to Nick Lewis. And as we start the second quarter, we're just going to Kim Murphy just confirming where that ball should be spotted as they changed ends. Should be second and four for Calgary. And the ball just beyond the Stampeders 41 yard line. Last year, or excuse me, last week, Calgary Stampeders were perfect offensively. They did not allow a sack. Dave Dickinson's group did not throw an interception or fumble the ball. It was an absolutely clean game against the Hamilton Tiger Cats on offense. Second and four, and the sweep is cut inside. Oh, Michael oh, Taylor oh. is rocked. Jarrell Freeman with the hit. And that will be close to the first down. Let's see where they spot it. This is where the rivalry comes in, and you, you talked about it, Chris, and now, in fairness to Larry Taylor, again, he, he got up like Romby Bryant 13 days ago in that big hit. He did hang on to the football, mm. and in fairness to him, I think Jarrell Freeman had some help. Someone was hanging on to the legs of Taylor. He couldn't really avoid that big hit. He tries to shake that off on the sideline. Freeman's been on fire since really getting back to 100%. Missed some early action week one with a an oblique injury that seemed to affect him early, but the last three weeks, 23 tackles, a sack and a forced fumble, and uh, a heavy hit there that has led to third down, and Drew Tate and the short yardage team on for the Stampeders. And he'll follow Tim O'Neill, Dimitri Supas, and move the chains. So the yep. Rough Riders defense have yet to create a stop. Well, they've got to try and find a way to get some pressure and try and make Henry Burris uncomfortable in that pocket. That's been an issue for Greg Marshall's defense all year long. Trying to find the right combination up front. Not leave their secondary hanging out to dry with complete zero blitzing, but still get pressure. The back takes the toss from Burris and has a big hole across Other midfield way, and down inside the Rough Rider 50 yard line. And John Cornish thought there could have been more. When you have confidence as a running back, and, th and this is what John Cornish has, you don't mind going laterally to wait for your blocking to set up. The, the, the fear as a running back for young guys is that. They get caught in the backfield, but you can see what that patience did for John Cornish. It paid off with a huge running lane. 15 for Cornish. And now Burris sets up, looks over the middle, and he has Jabari Arthur. Another catch from Arthur, who pulled that in from behind him. And he's been a key weapon.